Okay, we are going to be subtracting 3 and 3 fourths from 7 and 5 twelfths. So a couple things we're going to be looking at here. We, first off, we do have unlike denominators, so we're going to do something about that. I'm going to start by rewriting it, 7 and 5 twelfths, and I'm subtracting 3 and 3 fourths. So I'm going to bring over my 7 and bring over my 3. Now my common denominator with 12 and 4, if I were to start listing my multiples of 4, 4, 8, 12, and listing my multiples of 12, I would get 12 here. We do have a common multiple of 12 that comes up pretty quickly. So I'm going to go ahead and put my 12 here and here. And that is always just using those multiples to come up with that common denominator. Here, my denominator did not change. My numerator will also not change. Here, we multiplied our 4 times 3. So if we multiply our 4 times 3, we must also multiply our 3 times 3. Now, this is a little bit of a wrinkle in the process. We've got 5 twelfths on the top, and we're needing to subtract 9 twelfths. If you only have 5 twelfths here to subtract, what you're going to have to do is borrow from the whole number. So I am going to mark out that 7 and make it a 6. Now, I've got one whole that I need to take and put into this fraction. Since I'm already dealing with twelfths, I'm going to put my fraction into this fraction as 12 twelfths, and those two will combine. This is how I add it to the fraction. I borrowed the one from here. I'm adding it to this fraction as 12 twelfths. My new mixed number will be 6, My denominators are the same, so it stays the same. And 5 plus 12 is 17. Now with 6 and 17 twelfths, I can subtract 3 and 9 twelfths. 17 minus 9, so from 9 I can just count up 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. It is 8. So I will end up with 8 twelfths after I subtract those fractions. 6 minus 3 is 3. And my last step will be to simplify. Both of these numbers are divisible by, divisible by 4. 4 going to 8 twice and 12 3 times. So this will simplify to 2 thirds. Final answer, 3 and 2 thirds. Ah. Oh.